25.32, he's bought some tickets in. Hoff, that is. Yes. Um, he looks like a drowned water rat, Vic. It is <laughs> peeing down down there. It is. Very wet. It is indeed, but he looks like he's just shaking it all off. He's yeah. ready to go for great tasting water and great tasting taps. Explore the range of Pura Tap three-way mixes. You can check them out at puratap.com. Justin, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, guys. You're looking oh. good in your new beanies. <laughs> you, you don't mind it? You're the investor for Walker Mile yep. in my boots. Yeah, yeah. I've been for the last few years now, and oh, they obviously do an amazing job. So okay. um, wherever I can lend a hand and spruik what they're doing, um, I'll do. So obviously they're work, walk a mile this Friday. So hopefully we can get. Hopefully it's not raining like tonight. Mm. So um, hopefully we get a few heads down there. Tell you what else is great. Uh, we've been down there the last couple of years. You are very well supported by your teammates. They generally yeah. show yep. out in big numbers. No, nah, the, the guys have been amazing um supporting obviously with a bit of cash uh towards the center but um to get down there and and see what it's all about early in the morning you know a few of the youngsters you know i've never been out of bed at that time in the morning so um <laughs> it's good to see them down there and we always get a big crowd which is good so it's the racetrack vic park again we walk from yep. there to the hut street center yep just off the chicane in there yeah. and so, yeah straight down hut street so it's it's not too hard, so yeah. um, and raise money. Walk as a team, yep, as schools, absolutely. as schools Lots down there. There's there. work, mm. so yeah, get down there. And best of for walk a mile in my boots, Justin Westoff. Um, now, mini legend, look alike. You met him, you little mega star. You know yeah. you bit with a little fella. <laughs> I know it was I, the Neb mega star. I got to meet him uh, Sunday yeah. after the game mm-hmm. on the weekend. So. When he walked in, uh, we did a bit of a surprise for him. He didn't know that I was there. So, um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, it, it's just bizarre to see a little kid <laughs> running around in a little beard. That um, is magnificent. Now, is he a Port fan and he's you're one of his heroes? Is that correct, I heard? Oh, I think he was impartial to a bit of Collingwood. But um, <laughs> but now he is. That's but now he is. Oh, I think I won him over and his, and his, uh, his folks. So, yeah. Um, yeah, through and through now, hopefully. Well, I reckon they nailed your eyebrows more than your beard with him. He had yep. the big, big one brow. Well, nearly a one brow. Yeah, it was... I think they put a little bit of extra on there, so... They did. Um, he got the big bushies. <laughs> Does he know it, your so. nickname's Humphrey and, you know... No, you had not the... quite. So I, I just left that off the script, but... <laughs> um, no, nah, he was a ripper and, yeah. you know, we got a bit of a trim up and all yeah. that kind of stuff, so he had a good time. Yeah. So who were the others? Basha Hooley is in Bash there. Hooley, Tip Bash Woody... Um, uh, Taylor yeah. Harris. Taylor yes. Harris. Yeah. I think there might and be uh, Goran Myers from yes, Geelong. That's, yeah. that's oh, one. So fantastic. there's five there. So I can't wait to see the commercial, to be honest. So it'll be brilliant. It'll be well, let's talk about you, the football team. Um, you've been a key forward, a key back, a winger, half forward up. You've been second rud, an outside mid, a half back, behind the ball, the plus one. <laughs> you've been back to the Maggies. Fair yeah. You know where you are, who you are, and what you're doing? Yeah, this year's been a bit of a Hasn't it? topsy turvy year for. Probably not just only me, but um, for the whole group. Um, obviously, we've got a few guys in and out of form throughout the year, and um, you know it's been duly noted that the inconsistencies in our game throughout the year have been a little bit well frustrating to say the least. So yeah, um, yeah I've been down back the last couple of weeks, and I've really enjoyed it down there. Yeah. We've got a good solid group back there, and um, yeah, we'll see what happens in the next four, three, four games. So. Um, have you ever known a time at a footy club when you've had so many quality tools? You know, like there's blokes like Laddams, Ryder, Lysett, Howard, Dixon, Marshall, yourself. It's yeah. Frampton. Frampton. Yeah. Uh, Sam Hayes is a youngster who's coming along as well. It just is remarkable. And, and by and large, they've all been um, really pressing. They've played good footy yep. in the sand form, put a lot of pressure on the guys that are in the side. Yeah, absolutely. I think we've been in a really great spot that we've recruited really well with the tools. And um, I think... The environment at the club with that kind of player is really good. We've got experienced guys, uh, guys that play in different positions. Obviously, Ruck's pretty important with Paddy and Scotty down there now, now showing these young kids how, how to do it. And uh, It's been really good even today. You know, Signing up some of these young kids for long-term deals is really good for the club. And um, you know, Some of those guys have been in really good form and you know, on the back of that, getting rewarded in the AFL team. So... It's really exciting, and um, I love seeing those kids come through and, and play games of footy. Now, we did, had a, a text message, a Myland Office Furniture text message, uh, just re- relating to Todd Marshall just before you came in, uh, saying that you've, it looks like you've been spending a bit of time with him, trying to uh, help him in his development. He's one of the players that's signed yep. on. Is that right? Yeah, obviously um, playing for a little bit and, and sharing a little bit of wisdom with him. With uh, I think his mentor is Charlie as well this year, so... Um, 
Yeah, it's always good. Obviously, him and myself are pretty similar players. It's not and, a big stretch, um, is it? Yeah, and he's obviously a really smart guy and, and knows how to play footy really well. And um, He's a unique a unique player, and um, I think we're only going to see bigger and better things out of him in the next couple of years. Mm, outstanding on the weekend. Uh, got yeah, coaches absolutely. Votes yeah. as well. Um, what I've loved about your team, when you have been at your best, when you have put four quarters out there, when yep. you have put quality against quality opposition, it stands up. Now, that, that's yeah. the positive. So that must give you, as a, the coaches and the players, a lot of a, a lot of confidence. And you just got to hope that that can now relate into consistency in games. And week yeah, in, week out. absolutely. I think that's probably the, big, the biggest frustration with our group at the moment, that we're really playing well against good quality teams. And, um, you know, I've, I think we've beaten, you know, three or four of the top four teams this year. So well, um, West Coast and Perth. And yeah, and then Geelong, Geelong as Geelong well. Yeah. Which is great, but yeah, obviously the inconsistency is something that we really need to address. And um, I think we've just been, which has been great from the coaches and I think the players as well, is that we're just trying to keep it consistent messaging throughout the year and um, keep working hard at those things. We know it will turn around at some stage, but I think we just need to string, you know, two or three together and and who knows what can happen. So, um, and hopefully we can do that this week. Port Star, Justin Westhoff, our guest. Well, there's three games left. You're a game and a little bit of percentage out of the top yep. eight. Now, I don't know what you do internally. Do you discuss all of that as a, as leaders? Do you do you just say, look, there's a really good opportunity here? Or is, is it just one week at a time, literally? Yeah, I think, obviously, it is. Uh, we need to string, you know, two, three together you do. Uh, to be any sort of a chance. But um, I think we're good enough to do that, you know, yep. for the rest of the year. Um, there's no, you know, otherwise we'd be playing youth and I wouldn't be playing really if we didn't have a Do you feel the pressure when Ken comes out and says it's finals or bust and your president a couple of weeks ago on double A said it's finals or bust? Do you feel that as a playing group? Do you feel it's finals or bust? Uh, I don't think so. I think at the moment our group as a whole is a really young group and it's an exciting group and there's no doubt this year and and, you know next year at least that we're a big chance to do what we want to do and want to achieve so um you know, I wouldn't still be playing if I didn't think that was achievable and yeah. out there every week, you know, busting my butt to, to do that for the team. So um, I think we're in a still a great space, um, but we just need to, you know, push hard, push hard back. So just on that, there has been a bit of negativity around Ken. Your crowds are down. Once again, I'm not invested like other Port supporters, but from the outside looking in, I think you are on the verge of really jumping up over the next couple of years. Have you got yeah. a message for your fans to to re- reassure them that you are heading in the right direction? Yeah, I think even if you look at this year, we've played some really good footy and um, obviously it's probably not quite where they want it at the moment, but um, there's no doubt we've got the right guys in, in the top jobs and the right players on the list. Um you know, I think our connection within the group this year has been unbelievable and uh, we probably haven't reaped the rewards that we wanted out of that. But um, obviously the supporters, you know, they're diehards and we love them for that and um, there's no doubt the players believe that we can do it and I think we just need to st- stick tough for a little bit longer and um, it's it'll be a very prosperous time for the club going forward. Brilliant. Um, Ollie Wines, is he trained? Is he back? Is his finger okay? Yep, he trained today with... No uh, pink hat? No, nah, no pink hat. Here there is no pink hat. No, nah, no pink hat today. So yeah. he was out there going as hard as he as he does. So um, obviously the coaches now will, will be down to them and, and selection yeah. today and, and tomorrow. So um, mm. hopefully we can get the skipper out there soon. We spoke with Sean Burgoyne. He's playing in Canberra on Friday night. They're predicting snow, one degrees. Yeah. He told us that Alistair Clarkson has told the property steward just don't even make long sleeve Guernseys now. If it's oh, going to be raining oh, 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 on Saturday afternoon, you have been partial yeah. to a long sleever. What, what, how do you make that Uh-oh. decision? It is frowned upon for some reason. <laughs> uh, it's just a little so bit it's more not, material. Not nothing to do with the softness. I of... don't think. Oh, look, <laughs> you I have got I... Willy Wagtail arms. Let's face it. <laughs> I, I like to think I'm skinny strong, but <laughs> you, you are skinny <laughs> strong. I didn't say you weren't skinny strong. <laughs> I've never heard that. That's a but, good one. Well, Ben yeah. Hart was skinny strong. Exactly so. Oh. Um, Worry strong. Well, I'm going to give you a good excuse because Malcolm Blight once said that uh, when the ball is wet and slippery, if you have long sleeves, it doesn't slide off your arms when you take your right? chest mark. And exactly so he right. wasn't. So you can use that. I'm sure he wouldn't mind. I'll be using that to Kenny. Um, <laughs> I think Kenny used to play in a long sleeve anyway. So, um, but yeah, obviously there's some old school coaches out there. Obviously, you know, coming with Choco, he used to hate it. So, um, but Vossi, Vossi never wore long sleeves. 
Oh. Did Freddie Bassett? I yes, reckon Freddie did. Definitely yeah, did. he would have been one Freddie of them. Freddie Bassett yeah, was so a long sleever because he had the Willy Wagtail arms. We've got a few, so um, each their own for me. Um, if you think you look good and play yeah, well, so I'm with why you. not? Uh, we had a quick text through on a Milan Office Furniture text line. How's Butters um, Sternum? Did he train today? Yeah, he trained today as well. He yeah, had nasty one of those pink. Yeah, he's um, only a little fella, so um, mm. he's got a he's, pinky on. He's taken a few big knocks this year, but he he'll be okay. I think he trained all right today, and it's probably just see how he pulls up from today, the session today. So okay, um, Ro, well, you cracked your sternum once. You said oh, it was did, the most painful, the, the most pain I've ever had. And I reckon it was three months you had to sit yeah, up. Wow. And, his is bruised. Mm. It's not, not, yeah. I've got this massive lump there now. Yeah, I find it really hard to breathe. He'll be okay. He'll, he's he's a good strong kid. So. Yeah. Yeah, well, I wasn't. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. exactly. Oh, no, basically, basically what he was saying. Well, yeah. that's right. <laughs> 8223 The Hoff, the great man, The Hoff, ambassador for Walk a Mile in My Boots. We want to see as many people as we can down there Friday morning. Just look for the big fella with the orange. What do yep. you call that thing you got? A hoodie? What do you call those things? Hoodie. That you're wearing? Mm, yeah. Is it a hoodie? Yeah, 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 that's that's it. What we'll go with that. yeah, go with that. Look for him and get around him. Big balloons as well. 8223 We've got a double. Port taking on City. Massive game Saturday afternoon. If you want it, first caller through. Yes, indeed. Uh, Justin, thanks well, very much for coming no worries, in. Guys. If anyone wants to donate to the Hutch Street Centre, go to our Twitter account. There's a link there that you can go straight through and uh, make any donations you feel like you can do. Justin Westhoff was our special guest.